Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to save your picture, download it, because you are going to need to print this picture. I originally asked for a screenshot, um, and that's fine just for me to make sure your picture was okay, but now you are going to print this out for a reference picture. Um, so if you are going to have any printing troubles, let me know, we'll figure something out. So go to Deep Art and you are going to find your original picture, or whichever one you choose. Um, I'm gonna choose this one. So I'm gonna go to View, and you can do this on your phone. You'll just have to save it to your camera roll and then email it to yourself. Um, but if you're using a computer, it's gonna be a lot easier. Um, pull it up and click Download. It'll take you to your pay, your your picture, and then I'm going to right click and save image as, and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop somewhere I can find it quick, click save. Um, I do already have this picture saved. So I'm going to pull it up, I have it on my desktop here, pull this up, and then I can do a number of things as long as I keep the dimensions. You can copy and paste this into a Google Doc and print it and just make sure it takes up maybe most of the top uh, corner of the paper, or you can just, wear whatever, you might not have a Mac, but just click print and print as is, and that should be fine. Um, the pictures that DeepArt has, it's a square, so it's a perfect square, so I will show you what to do next after you have printed your picture. I have my printed picture here. It does not have to be in color. We'll get to color later, but you can use your phone for color reference. If you wanna print in color, that's totally fine. So however this printed, however big, um, it just makes sure, double check that it's a square. So all sides are the same amount. Um, mine is 5.25 inches. That's just how it normally printed when I downloaded it. Um, so that's a perfect square. Um, your final drawing paper, um, it just needs to be bigger than your photo that you printed. Um, and it has to be a square. So mine is 5.25 and since it's a square, I'm just gonna scale it up to seven inches by seven inches. To cut down your paper to the proper size, I will show you that really quick. This is going to be a seven by seven piece of paper and this is just a regular uh, computer piece of paper that I'm gonna show you just for this example. So this is what I'm gonna do, line up my ruler make a little tick mark at seven, and then I'm going to push this up and make another, making sure it's totally lined up, I'm gonna make another tick mark at seven. So in order to connect these two lines, you have to have two tick marks. Don't measure out seven and then try to line up your ruler just by eyeballing it. You need two tick marks so that you can line them up and you know for certain that it is seven. So a line there. Now I'm going to do this side so I can turn my paper. And again, seven inches as lined up as I can. Tick mark on seven. Push this up. And tick mark at seven. Line this up. So these two tick marks, seven inch tick marks. Doesn't fit on the whole screen, but connect that together. So looking at our paper, this is what we will cut off. So this is seven inches here, and seven inches here. So you're gonna cut this out with scissors. I have my paper cut out and my picture. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be creating kind of like a grid just to help with the drawing portion of this project. So I am going to figure out the halfway point. So this is 5.25 inches. So half of that, and this we're getting really, I mean, depends on the size of your picture. It's just the halfway point. Mine is 2.625. So on my ruler, that's a little bit past 2.5. So I'm gonna make a little tick mark right there in my picture. Then on the opposite side, similar to, similar to how we cut down the paper, we have to have two twin tick marks so that we can connect them together. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way so I don't get confused. 
2.625 tick mark there and now I can connect them. So as long as there are two tick marks, you can connect them together. This is your reference photo, so it doesn't matter what you do to it. Then the same thing over here. Okay, then my drawing paper is seven inches, so half of seven. Now the, the drawing paper, you can't, you need to draw really light your guidelines. So drawing paper, super light, but is seven inches, half of seven is three and a half. So I'm gonna make a very light tick mark there and then do the same thing over here where I can just slide it up like this. Three and a half. And then connect these two again, super, super light, because we want to eventually erase this. Same thing on the other side. So that's how we create the little grid lines to help us with the drawing portion of this project. Now I can start drawing my animal. If you want to put some more grid lines in there, you can, you're welcome to. Um, I'm just gonna use the four, but similar, to like our dessert still life, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on one area. I'm just gonna get the basic shape. And I know that this is very stylized because of you know the different artworks that we blended uh, with your photos. Uh, but just try your best, just blocking in some of these major lines. So I'm just gonna start with the ears and I can you know kind of eyeball or you can measure. Um, it's up to you, but I'm just gonna eyeball and just start laying down lines. And if it's not perfect right now, I can fix it later, but I'm just keeping this very light, super sketchy. Um, I'm not spending a ton of time on one area. I'm looking like back and forth from my paper to my picture constantly. I'm not resting my eyes on my drawing too long. And I don't love this right now, but like, it doesn't matter. I'm just getting the shapes. It does not have to be super cute yet. Just getting the basic shape. I like to look at some of these areas where, you know, something goes off the page. I like to skip around to those so that I don't spend, again, too long in one area and it doesn't actually, it's not actually correct. So I like to skip around, just making sure everything lines up where it should. And again, this isn't going to be a perfect picture because it's stylized. It's got that weird, unique quality to it. Looks like a famous artwork. So it's not gonna be perfect. I'm gonna spend a little more time on this now and start just solidifying some of these lines and maybe even blocking in some shadows. Okay, I have the basic shape drawn. Again, it's not super cute yet. Uh, I'm gonna start putting in some of the major shadow areas. So I'm gonna be looking at the ears here. So her ears are colored gray. And I'm gonna draw, you know, if it helps you, you can draw it, kind of trace the outline on here and transfer it. So I would just start kind of setting those in on here and it doesn't, it's not gonna be exactly like it, just kind of roughly. And especially since we're just sketching right now, it's really not a big deal. So this is kind of a light area inside her ears. Keep that kind of rough over here and that around. So that's kind of like a major shadow area. And then some of the outside stuff, I am okay if you cut off uh, some of the stuff that's going on, that's okay. Um, 
but you do have to have something in the background. But if there's something weird and it's hard to figure out what it is, maybe you just, um, in the background, you'll eventually just kind of do some colors back there. Um, so what I'm going to do is this shadow area, I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to lay that in. So that goes all the way off the page there. So I'm going to sketch that in. And eventually, I, when I look at the color version, I will know what to fill in there, whatever color that may be. So fill that in. This is a little spot on her back. So I'll just put a little section in for that. And then whatever this is, I don't really remember. Lay that in. That's pretty dark over there in that corner. Um, this line, if I really want to, I could do like a little diab. Maybe I don't do it. Maybe I don't include this in the final, but we'll see some of that stuff. Kind of lay that in there. Now I'm going to look more closely at maybe some of these detail areas, some of the larger areas. If it helps you, maybe you can start laying some of these shapes in. Uh, or you wait and do those with the crayon or oil pastel. It's totally up to you. Um, but I'm just going to go through and add in just a few more of these shaded areas. And then my sketch will be finished. I now have enough information on my paper with the pencil sketch. The rest of the information is going to come about with color, which we will talk about next. When you are finished drawing, go ahead and take a picture side by side, your picture and your drawing and submit it on Google Classroom.